shin is a category. Do I have a shin? Of course you do. Does a cow have a shin? Of course you do. Does Allah have a shin? Allah has it, but it's not like There you go. Allah has the category of shin. He shares that category with created things. The hadith say it's Allah is not like anything you can think or imagine. So what you just said is not what Allah is. Do you see? Yes. Does Allah see? Yes. Did you just compare? No, but it's not. That's not the same thing. Why is it not? It's not. In what way is Allah's vision different to your vision? I don't know. And yet the Quran claims to be clear guidance. How can you be clear guidance if the language that you're guiding with is totally meaningless? Do you see the contradiction? No, no, Do you see the double standard? Do you see the double standard? Why would a God be, try to be like something he created? Right. He's a God. Why would, if, if I would be, uh, I don't know, uh, a prime minister. Prime minister. One second, bro. The question is not why. That's not the question. The question is can he? And according to Islamic yes. sources, he can. Yeah, he can. Do you agree? Yes, yes, he can. Great stuff. Yeah, yeah. You heard that, Dawagandists? Yeah, God can it. become a man. Yeah, but great Allah stuff. Can, in Islam, Allah can do whatever he wants. Now we've a okay. Great, go on. But yeah. Allah have. Uh, uh, he's a God. Right. So why would he be at his creation? Okay. Now that we've established. It's not about, you know, if he can. Brilliant. In Islam, whatever God wants. That is he a can fair do. question. And because, because we've established that God can, it's now fair for us to address the question of why would he? So let me answer that question. Because the vision of our God and the vision of your God are very different. Well, well, well what's your faith? You don't mind my answer. Christian. Okay, so yeah. why do you... Why well, do well you one second. Let me, let me deal with your first question yeah, sure. and then I'll deal with your second question, sure. I assure. Let me answer your first, I'll answer your second. So our vision of God is very different from your vision of God. The essential characteristic, it, it is really, it really is. The essential characteristic of our God, the true God, is love. And the central characteristic of Allah is power, sovereignty. Now, in our faith, well, we'll come back to that. We'll come back to that because I think it is. Allah Malaki, remember? Now, in terms of, in terms of love, I don't know, you've got people in your life you love, I'm sure. Right? Like the people that you love most in this world. Am I right in thinking that there ain't nothing that you would do for them? Obviously, apart from blaspheming against Allah or insulting Allah. But in terms of normal things, is there any pain or hardship for the benefit of your family, your, your children or your wife that you wouldn't go through? Exactly. So if you love, you're willing to do the undignified. Is that correct? So let's imagine, do a, a thought experiment with me. Let's imagine you go on to Colombia on holiday and some gang kidnaps your wife and says, we'll let her go, but only if you humiliate yourself in public. Would you humiliate yourself in public to get your wife back? Yes. There you go. So love allows you to do things that are not worthy of your dignity, agreed? But where does, uh, are we, um, I don't know what you're trying to get to, but... Uh, I think okay. everyone else managed to put no, together. No, did, did you hear? Did, no, no, did you? Um, no, did no, no, you? No, no, everybody I, else I understood. Wanna, I don't want to answer something. I, I might give you the wrong right. impression. So let, 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 let so me... So you're saying Islam asks people to humiliate themselves? No, I didn't say that. Yeah, no, that's why I'm saying, you know, so elaborate your question. You, you really got to pay attention to what I'm saying then. Because what I'm saying is, remember the question you asked me. Why would God become a man? And we say that God would become a man because he loves you and he loves me enough to become a man. You say no. No, no, he, no, no, there's not, no, no, no. Yeah. Because life to us is a test, right? According to Islam, yeah. And I'm, I'm pretty sure in Christianity it's a test as well. It's more than that, but go on. Well, what is it about? Tell me. Right, I'll, I'll tell you. The point of life as a Christian is that through our lives we glorify God. That's the point of your life. Your life is here for one reason, to give God his glory. It's not, a, it's not an examination. Have you read the Quran? No, no, wait, wait, wait one second. Because I'm not talking about the Quran. You're asking me about Christianity. I'm saying to you in Christianity, your life isn't a test. Your life is an opportunity. 
an opportunity given to you as a gift by God to glorify him. He's not standing there as heaven sharp judicious judge to mark down what you hear do amiss. He's not here to catch you out because you didn't fulfill that fetish of his or that fetish of his. He's here to give you an opportunity to glorify him with your life. That's not what you said. You said in Islam, life is a test. Now, because my answer sounds better than yours, you want to steal my answer for Islam. But you didn't say that a minute ago, and it's on camera. Life is a test. No, it isn't. It is. Not according it's to Christianity. About what you do. I'm not talking about the prayers and stuff. 80% of the Quran is just about lifestyle. Don't steal, don't lie. Am I wrong? Yes. It's not, it's, am I wrong? Yes. So you haven't read it though? No, no, I have. If you say if you're saying the Quran is not right in that aspect, then you're you know. The Quran sure. makes mention to Allah's eyes, by the way. Can we can we get the verse for him? So this is Surah 11, Ayah 37. Can I see it? Yeah. So Surah 11, Ayah 37, and build the ark under our watchful eyes. So you just said that in Islam we don't compare Allah to created things, but Allah has just compared himself to created things. Do you have eyes? Does Allah have eyes? Yes. There you go. But you don't compare him as a human being. Right. So hold on. So you're saying his eyes are not like our eyes? No. Right. It's a metaphor for seeing. A metaphor. So you're an, an Ashari, Al Ashari. You know the Salafists in the park say it's not a metaphor. It's a metaphor. Eyes. When I say not all Muslims say, agree with that. No all Muslims agree with that. They're, they're, they're upset. One, once the Salafist is correcting the Al Shari because Islam doesn't have a consistent theology about Allah. Doesn't have a consistent theology about Allah. Muslims come to the park every week trying to attack Christian doctrine, saying it's inconsistent. But yet, the reason why they've stopped talking to me and to one another is because Muslims can't agree about what it means when it says, Allah has eyes. How basic is that? So, I, I, after your little counsel, have you decided whether he's got eyes or not? they agree with me. Has he got eyes or not? They're saying you're going off topic. So, so off topic. does he have eyes? Eyes in terms of seeing, you're thinking like eyeballs. Jesus, I didn't say that. Again. That's what you're saying. You're I saying didn't eyes. say that. I did not say eyeballs. So you know when you say eyes, what does it mean? Go exactly. On. No, no, no. I'm, no, I'm this is you. the point. This I'm, is the you're point. You're trying to make. You're trying to make me. You're trying to make get the answer. We agreed. I know I'm sexy, <laughs> but I don't swing Listen, that way. You got to keep your hands to yourself. You're saying. You're saying. Yeah. Allah have eyes as in the same as a human being. Says the man standing but here. But you can't compare Allah to a human being. You right, can't. brilliant. You can't. So did you all hear that, he ladies sees, and gentlemen? Yes, he sees our action. He's do you watching, see? Do you he's see? He's definitely watching us now. Do you see? Yes. Does Allah see? Yes. Did you just compare? <laughs> no, but it's not. That's not the same thing. Why is it not? It's not. In what way is Allah's vision different to your vision? I don't know. You he don't know? He created me. I didn't create him. He exactly. So this gets to my point, bro. What's your name, by the way? AJ. AJ, AJ, okay, AJ, firstly, I want to thank you for a very polite, passionate conversation. I appreciate it, that's what Speaker's Corner is meant to be about. 100%. Thank you very much. And I thank you for your conduct and the way you yeah, conduct. But are you still, there's some arguments you still need to... Hold on one second, hold on one second. Oh, we haven't finished. No, because uh, you, you, I was only leading you to the sucker punch. Here's the sucker punch, right? If you're saying that anything we can think or imagine is not Allah, then when we talk about Allah's attributes, his eyes or his hands, he's not listening, so I'll talk to you guys, his eyes or his hands or his feet, then that means that that language is utterly meaningless language. And yet the Quran claims to be clear guidance. How can you be clear guidance if the language that you're guiding with is totally meaningless? That's your opinion. Now, so, would you like to jump into the conversation? No, no, no. I'm uh, okay. sorry, I, didn't, I was showing you something. But of I course, know. you weren't listening. So let me repeat it for you again. Sure. According to the hadiths, yes. Allah is not like anything you can think or imagine. True. True. So I'm not lying about Islam right now, am I? No, no, no. Telling the truth, being fair. Yeah, no, no. Great. But just think about the logical consequence of saying that. If you're saying Allah is not like anything you can think or imagine, then when the Quran says Allah has eyes like it does, then that word doesn't mean anything. Because what does eyes mean? 
It means he can see. But that's, that's the thing. But you're, that's thinking, some, you're thinking about something physical. Do you think, no, hold on, hold on. Do you, when you said you can see, would you agree that what you've just done there is had a thought and imagine? Yeah, but it's there you like, go. But yeah, but it's not like something you can imagine. There you go. Now listen. No, what he means, as in whatever you imagine is wrong. Exactly. Yes. And do you think that vision, seeing, is something that you can think and imagine? Right. So Allah's yeah. eyes are not okay. that. Okay. So what does it mean to say Allah has eyes? Because it's okay. not what you just said. Yeah, but then look, what I'm trying to say is you're thinking about eyes, okay? No, you said be, it. I know you someone, said vision, I know not me. Some, I know someone can be seeing me right now, but I, know, I don't see them. But it doesn't, that doesn't mean they, they, they can't see me. Hold on, hold on. Did you just think and imagine that scenario? No, I'm just saying. <laughs> right, but uh, but the hadith say... Technically, yes. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so It's the, like someone watching. Exactly, so hadiths yes. have just told... Yeah, I don't know what that person looks like. Brother, brother, AJ. The hadith say it's... Allah is not like anything you can think or imagine. Yes. So... What you just said is not what Allah is. His eyes are not what you've just said. So, try again. What does it mean when it says Allah has eyes? It means he's, he's like so what's someone watching you. Someone it's watching like you. Someone watching you. Can you think or imagine it's someone watching you? Yeah, that means you have to be careful with your actions. Right. Yeah, so you have to know, it's you know, not like someone watching you there. Is, no, 100%. So go back to your. So those hadiths that say, and Islamic teachers that teach you that Allah is not like what you can think or imagine, no, they're wrong. See, no, no, no. When they're God wrong. Say that. When, when, when the hadith that says that God is. You know it exists. Yeah, no, we know 100%. And, and in the Quran, it also says the same, doesn't it? Do you believe your God exists? Yes, of course. Can you see him? N um, we, we believe in the beatific vision, yeah. Do you think he sees you? Yeah, of course. Okay, that's the same concept. Right, now, no, hold on one second. No, it's it isn't. the same concept. Now, let me... You can't see him, but he can see you. Let me explain why that is concept. not the same concept. Go on. Let me explain why it is not the same concept. Because in the Christian faith, we believe that there are two touch points of reference in our discourse about God. The fact that we are made in the image of God and the fact that God became a man in Jesus Christ. Which means that when we say we talk about God's vision or God's hands or God's feet, we have a point of reference in the created world yeah, but that's to what make... You think. Well, let them, yes, and I'm explaining why it's different from what you're saying. Because you tried to defend Islam by saying we have the same concept, which only shows you don't know what Christianity teaches. Because we don't have the same concept. We have a radically different concept from Islam. We say that we are made in the image of God, that God became a man, and so we can speak meaningfully about God's vision, God's sight, God's uh, hands, God's heart, God's love. But in Islam, you have this contradictory teaching. On one hand, you're told in the Quran and Hadiths that Allah is not like anything that you can think or imagine. But on the next, on the next side is the contradiction, which says that Allah has eyes and Allah has hands and Allah has sight and Allah has heart. What does that mean to see? It's the same concept saying your God looks at you. Did you all hear that? The same concept. No, no, wait, wait, wait. The same concept. Yes. But yes. you just said do it's you not God? the do same you see, concept. Okay. Do you see your God right now? Yo. Did you, did you understand? Do you see your God right now? Do you see him? Do you see your God? Do you see your God right now? Where there is love, there is God. Where we see, the energy, of love, we see the, the, see the energy of love, we see the activity of God. It's the same. Right? It's the same. No, if your God it really God, isn't. I'm not. Go on. If you're saying your God sees everything, right? He's, he's watching you now, no? Yeah. Can you see him? No. But we see the energy of God. Now let me let me let me let me just explain to you what you did, right? And bro, there's no point denying it because we, we can do a flashback on the camera. When I pressed right. you, I know you. I know you're not. You're. You, you are a decent human being. I'm having a Thank decent you. conversation with you, you, yeah, and I appreciate it. I genuinely do, right? But you said, and maybe it was a slip of the tongue, when I pressed you about what does it, what does vision mean? You said it's the same concept when we were comparing what you said about human vision oh, to Allah's vision. No, 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 I meant 
the same way your God sees you, my God sees me. I don't see him, but he sees me. Right. But bro, when we say as Christians, God sees us, we are talking about something that is a facsimile to our vision. Why? Because we are created in the image of God. So that language means something in our religion. But, I think, uh, but your religion, because of this principle that is not like anything you can think or imagine, means that the eyes, hands are all meaningless terms. Meaningless terms. When, when we say God is nothing you can imagine, we mean physically. The way he looks. Ah. It means you can't imagine what he, what he looks. So God has a shape. You don't know, it's nothing you can imagine. See, you're going back to the physical aspect. One second. To what he yeah, looks like. Yeah. But we don't know, there's nothing you can imagine. That's what, that's what they mean by it's nothing like you imagine. In the Quran, in the Quran it says that no vision can encompass him, but he encompasses all vision. And that on the day of resurrection, some of the believers will have their face brightened to see their Lord. Agreed? Which, uh, Do you need me to show you? Yes. Right. Let me, let me, it also says in the Quran, uh, sorry, the Hadith, it says on the day of judgment that everything that a person worships will come to him in a shape and they will follow what they worship. So the people that worship the moon will follow the moon. The people that worship the cross will follow the cross. And then Allah will come to his people in a shape and they'll say, this is what your Hadith say. Can we, can we try and find the Hadith about the judgment? That's a mad Hadith. Yeah, it is a mad Hadith and it's in your Hadith. No, but you have to, you have to see credibility. Like. I'll show it you. Sure. I wasn't lying before. I'm not lying now. I've done this for six years. I've shown this hadith to people. Can we find the Allah coming in a shape on Judgment Day? It's quite a long hadith, right? Okay. So my point to you is that the Quran is saying, sorry, the hadiths are saying that Allah does have a shape. Right? Can we pull it up? No, 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 no. Can I show you? Right? Here we go. So it's in. Uh, does it give the reference? Uh, you know what? I can read Arabic. So show me the Arabic a bit. There you go. It's somewhere down here. Somewhere down at the bottom. Do you mind? All right. It wasn't my phone to give you. Oh, sorry. Henry was a king. And your prophets was the best example it's for all mankind. It's only in the past couple of years that age has been a It's only in the past couple of years. Now you're an honest man, AJ. So when you get to the bit that says he comes in a shape. I mean, if I believed in Muhammad, I would say yes. Is Muhammad a seed of the My point is your prophet's got the message of God. How's that add up? You got to it yet? I'm talking about the hadith. I'll show you from the hadith. Don't show me from the hadith. I know. Okay, so you know it. So why are you asking me? Does it say it? Does it say it, bro? Is it an Islamic website? This is in your sources. And the reason why it's problematic... Are you, have you, are you finished reading? Okay, so, so the point is we showed you a hadith where it says Allah comes in a shape. But a shape is a created thing. Would you agree? Shapes are created. It's a faculty of creation. His God, what do you mean? God definitely has a shape, yes. God definitely has a shape. Yeah, but we don't know what it is. You can't think of it. You can't imagine. But it's is it nothing like you can imagine or think of. Would you agree that shape is a category of creation? No one created God. Didn't say that. So how Didn't can, even suggest so that. Who create, if no one created God, how can you say the shape is created? I'm pointing out the logical contradiction of your sources. That's what I'm pointing out to you, bro. The reason why the reason why my argument doesn't make sense is because the sources don't make sense. Not everyone, not everyone that writes means he's credible. Right. But this is. Can we get the reference there? What reference? Sahih al Bukhari. I need, to, four, three, I need to check. 7437. Seven. Now the point is, the point is, Allah has a created shape. And a created shape is something that you and I have. See, when you use the term created, yeah. in Islam is wrong because no one created God. So, 
is cre is shape a cre a of the created order? Do you have shape? Does Allah have? No, big difference. What? What? Big difference. What? Wait one second. What does this word shape mean when it applies to Allah? We don't know. That's the thing. You're there you go. Me something I can't think of. That's my point, bro. That's what I'm trying to get through to you. Is that your Allah is an entity? Wait, you're missing the point that I'm making. You can't say Allah has a shape. We Allah no. is an entity. Muhammad said Allah has a shape. No, no, no. I showed you the no, hadith. No, no. I showed you the hadith. No, know, who was it? Who was it? If it no, wasn't Muhammad, who was it? I will show you. It's who was it? Called Ibrahim. It's someone called Bra uh, Abraham, but it's not Muhammad. I'll show it, you. No, Abraham was quoting Muhammad. What's a hadith? What's a hadith? Come on, bro. Don't play. Don't play that here with me. What? What? It's some, it's sometimes it's someone off no, no, saying quoting the prophet. Yes. It's someone quoting the prophet. Let me read it. Yeah. Let's read it. On the authority of Abu Huraira, the people said, "Oh, Allah's messenger, shall we see our Lord?" Who, who? Sorry, who's speaking? Who's the question being addressed to? The people said, "Oh, Allah's messenger." Who's Allah's Muhammad? messenger? Yeah. No. Wait. Yeah. Wait, wait. Shall we see our Lord? Who's our Lord? Allah. They're asking the prophet. Right, yeah, yes. yeah. About yes. their Lord. On the day of resurrection, the Prophet said, Do you have any difficulty Sorry, in who is speaking? So this is Muhammad replying back to oh, them about speaking. Allah. Go on. Do you have any difficulty in seeing the moon on a full moon's night? They said no. Ju Muhammad's just compared Allah, seeing Allah to seeing the moon. Yeah. Uh, it gets worse. Do you have any difficulty in seeing the sun when there are no clouds? They Muhammad's no. just compared seeing Allah to seeing the sun. Yeah. There you go. Well, listen, listen, listen. That's what here Muhammad just said. Yeah. And they said, with they said oh, Allah's messenger. He said, you, so he said, so you will see him like that. Like that. Why is Allah okay. being compared to something you say as a okay. shape? Okay, do you want me to answer you? This is in your when, hadith. When, so when they say, it. when they're going to yeah. say Allah like the sun, it means it's obvious. No, it it doesn't mean, no, no, no see, you're thinking no, about the listen, shape. Listen. You you're thinking about the shape. Saying, listen, oh, one second. Yes. He said, let, 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 no, you're not letting me finish my point. Let, 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 let him finish and then reply. Okay, you know when the moon comes out or the sun comes out, you see it, okay? It's behind the cloud, you can't really see the shape. Let's say if you've never seen the sun before in your life, right, okay? okay? Yeah. But you know that's the sun, right? right. Yeah. It, that's not the moon, okay. Is it, even though you can't directly yeah. see it. It's visually identifiable. Yeah, it means okay. it's obviously there. It, it, that's obviously the sun. And it has nothing to do with the form. No. Right, so why right. does it say, <laughs> go on. So do you have any difficulty in seeing the moon? Right, no. and then it, it, it does the same comparison with the sun. Yeah. And then it says, so you will see him. Like that? Why is he talking about in what way? He's when, saying that the way that you like can identify that, it means obviously you can see him. Right, you can see him in the As form. in you but can that, see him clearly. No, no. Not in just the, come no, to the bit about the shape, about, bro, because that's what he means. Oh, here we go. See, so we'll see him. Listen, listen, listen to what he's got to say. The bit about the All shape. Right. Whoever worships something in the world should follow that thing, so that whoever worships the sun will follow the sun. Whoever worships the moon will worship the moon, follow the moon. And whoever used to worship uh, certain other false deities, they will follow those deities. And sure, will remain only the only the notion with its good people, the hypocrites, the it's the bit that's emboldened in black. But are you convinced by my point? If I, if I see you standing at the end of the park and I can and I say I, I can it. see I you it. like the sun, what does that mean? It. it means you're bro. standing out. Bro. I can see you clearly. Bro, you, you had it. Mean you Just like find it again. Find it again. Take your time. Yeah, find yeah. it again. Because yeah. you did have it. I, I did read it. Anyway, bro, listen. I've been here for a few. Years. All right, I'm, bro. What's uh, AJ? Late. AJ. It was nice to meet you. Bro. It was really nice to meet you as well. Really love nice the conversation, brother. Can I ask you? Do you have a Bible? Do you have a Bible? I'd like to give you a gift. I give everyone I have yeah, a nice sure. conversation to a gift. I'd like to give you a Bible. I don't mind. Could you hold that a minute? It's a book of God. Amen. Amen. And what I would like to say to you, bro, is right. Try to read this Bible uh, apart from everything that Muslims say about it. Right. We don't have anything. See, but you think we have a problem with Christianity? We don't. If anything, Jesus is our prophet. Yeah. So, so we believe in him as much as you do. I mean, we could get into another debate about a different topic there. No, 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 no. But I don't want we, to. We can't look. We can't not believe in Jesus. Yeah. He's our prophet. Yeah. Okay. So here's my gift to you, AJ. Thank you very much I'll for a nice gift. And then come back with your toughest if you questions. A, if you have a Quran, I would. Uh, I've got would I've got you. three or four now. But come back with your toughest questions I will, I will. and bring one me your one hardest one questions. One but just to show you, look, it says it right here. Then Allah will appear in such a shape. No. That they can recognize him. That's what your hadith say, yeah. Muhammad That's said. Right. God is an entity. God is an entity. Agreed. Okay. 
Yeah, well, I would actually say he's beyond entity. We don't know what the entity is. I would we say he's beyond entity. We don't know the entity. Yeah. We don't know what kind of shape it is. Yeah. It's nothing like you've imagined or I thought. But, but it is a shape. Yeah, I'm, I don't know, but I don't know. That's the thing. But you're it ask, is a shape. But you are, you, there you go. you're asking me something. I it says I can't think of. And, and that, I can't even exactly. And my point to you, my, my point to you that I want you to take away is that Islamic revelation is meaningless because you have words that don't mean anything about God. Everything means. But you know what? The, but nothing that you, you can think to, or imagine. No, 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 no. But I'm gonna be completely honest with yeah. you. Yeah. You have to always know that there is a language barrier. Yes, of course. Quran is written in Arabic. I know. And people try to understand it in English. Yeah. They always because some words have a lot of meaning. And that's why I always try to use translations given by Arab Muslims. That's a good point. All right. Anyway, take you look care, after man. yourself, AJ. Take care. God bless. You. So, guys, what we heard today is that there is an obvious contradiction within the teachings of Islam. An obvious contradiction, right? In fact, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, guys, so Muslims believe that Allah has this attribute called light that limits another attribute called his glory. If Allah can limit one attribute by another attribute, then their Muslims have no argument about the idea that God can limit himself to become a man. Because if in Islamic sources, Allah can limit himself, as we showed, then Muslims have no argument in that in Christian sources, we believe God limits himself to take to himself a human nature. And the reality is, Muslims can't have it both ways. They can't say that the veil of light restricts the attribute of Allah's glory while saying that Christians can't believe that God can limit himself to take on a human nature. But it gets worse. The reality is that because of Islamic teaching that Allah is not like anything that he created, then all of those descriptions of Allah that we find in the Hadiths and that we find in the Quran talking about his eyes, talking about his hand, talking about his feet, talking about his shin. These are all meaningless words. Words that are absolutely devoid of meaning in a book that claims it is clear guidance. The theology of Islam about God is a vacuum an unknowable God, unknowable because he never interacts with his creation and he only ever sends messengers into that creation. The Christian God, by contrast, interacts with the created world and that is why we can speak meaningfully of God. How are we doing, guys? I see that what I was saying Sorry, Got a bit of a conversation uh, going. Uh, she, she was saying how she doesn't believe that Allah is in terms of body parts. Ayat 42 is yep. on the day when the dreadful calamity will unfold, when people will be summoned to prostrate themselves and yet they will not be able to prostrate. Shavala. That has nothing to do with his shame. Uh, so what? Um, are you exactly saying? Are you saying? Sorry, sorry, because that's not. The sorry, bro, bro, right. bro. Sorry, sister. We only have one translation. Are you saying that Allah? Are you saying yeah, that? Are you do. saying that Allah doesn't have a face or a shin or eyes or hands in the Quran? He has. If but he does, but we have not seen it. Right. So the point that I was making, the point that I was making, right. is that the Quran talks about Allah having eyes and shins and hands and feet. Do you know feet. the? Do you know the verses? Let me let me explain. Yes, I can show you the verses. Let me explain what my point is, right. so that we can have an intelligent conversation. Okay. That these words, according to Islamic doctrine, are completely meaningless. Because you don't know what they are. And you can't say what they are. And you can't describe them in any way. In fact, anything that you can think or imagine that they are, they're not, by definition. Which means that the Quran is full of meaningless descriptions of Allah. I still didn't get right. Now, would you like me to still, still show you the verses? Uh, you're, would you're you like me to still show you the verses? This is with Quran.com. Yeah, okay. So this is the ayah 42. It says, Beware of the day of the shin of Allah. 
will be bared and the wicked will be asked to prostrate. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you do realize that they're not talking about the literal shit of Allah is metaphorical. No, no, no. You're talking about. Do you take everything from the No, one second. Guys, 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 guys. Let's try to have an intelligent conversation. It does, it does literally talk about Allah. It literally does. So, are you saying that Allah doesn't have a shin? Allah doesn't have what? Are you saying Allah doesn't have a shin? We don't know if he has a shin. A shin. No, a shin, not a chin. Huh? Shin. You know, Anka. Shin. Oh. I he know. He didn't. He didn't tell us. So we only know what he revealed to us. So what? Uh, so does he have a shin or not? We don't know if he has a shin or not. So there you go. So hold on one second. No, 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 that's my it. point you that I'm making to you, my dear. No, you don't even know what my point is. No, you haven't even heard my. Have like, tell me what my point is, and I'll show you that you're. You're saying something about limiting glory and attributes, and then you're just making a. Uh, something that doesn't have a conclusion. That was an earlier uh, point. That's not the point I'm making here. Okay, what point are you making now? There you go. You didn't listen. Listen. Right. I'll so listen you now. don't understand my point. Do you have a leg? So now wait, let me. Wait, now let, no. Stop being rude. Do you have a leg? Okay. Do you have a leg? Right. So let me let me address my point to you, sister. Do you have a leg? Yes or no? Right, so, you no? you, sister. Do you have a leg? Yes or no? So the Quran do you have a leg? Yes says that Allah has a shin. Do you have a leg? Yes or no? Says he has hands. Says he has eyes. Let me finish. You're still not listening. You're still not listening. Less emotion, yes more no? intellect, it'll help huh? everybody. Do you have a shin, okay? yes or no? Don't so, in terms, I'm in terms to of, in terms of, how unchivalrous this man is, how unchivalrous, hey, hey, and how rude hey. to the woman. No, no, no. Hey, do you have, you have the right yes to no? a conversation. Don't do, let this bigot uh, no, no, try yeah, to, uh, don't uh, let uh, this misogynist. He's not being misogynistic. So, he's being very unchivalrous. So, Allah has a shin. That's what the Quran says. But you've just said, you've just said, we don't know what that means. Means. Even, even, yeah, but the Quran does. says does. it is clear guidance. Right. If you right. don't know what it means, it's because not clear it guidance. Huh? Right. That's in my point. In conclusion, when they talk about the shin, they mean it in a metaphorical sense. Oh, I notice sense. you're not interrupting now. Huh? I Suddenly it went quiet. No, I because Suddenly it went quiet. He just said it in a literal way. I agree with but you. No, 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 I'm listening to her. The Stop being rude. Sorry, go on, sister. Do you think everything in a literal sense? Right. Do you take all sentences in their literal so, sense? So, so let me address We that don't point. know what Allah looks like. Yeah. We don't know at all. There was one prophet yeah. who got a glimpse of Allah, yeah. and there were mountains that were destroyed. Blown Moses. Away. Moses. Yes. Yes. And Ibn Kathir said it was because him. the fingertip of Allah touched the mountain. That's what Ibn Kathir no, says. Like That's what Ibn Kathir says. You have the same finger yeah. tip as an animal. But the point the is, but the point is, that means that Allah, that means that Allah entered his creation. That means that Allah entered his creation. That means that Allah entered his creation. Entered his creation? Yes. Okay. Yes. Now, now, now. Okay, so my point is, my point to you is, that these descriptions that we find in the Quran are totally meaningless descriptions. They are meaningless words. According to logic, what logic? I'll, I'll explain logic? it to you. My logic is different if than you, yours. If you, if you, her logic is different. No, than logic yours. is universal. No, no, no. What do you mean? No, logic understand. is universal. No, no, no. It's not universal. Let's 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 do this no, like intelligent universal. people. Okay, okay. Less, emotion, less emotion. Let me give me an example. Less emotion. Me an example. Less emotion. More give intellect. Me an less emotion. Give me an more intellect. Give me an example. Okay, I'm going to give you an example. I'm going to give you an example. Okay. Okay. Your Quran that we just no, no, read. No, 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 no you don't get the common no. sense. You uh, don't you get. Said, no, uh, what, what no. Do you no. Mean, no. No, uh, what do you, mean, no? you don't get to dictate the example. You don't get to dictate the example. You just try to do uh, it to me, uh, practice uh, what you preach. No, but, now, as uh, I was saying, what, what you your Quran states mm -hmm. that Allah has a shin. Uh, okay. What does that mean? Okay, one second. Okay, now, do you have a shin, yes or no? I have a shin, yes. Uh, okay. An animal have a shin, yes or no? Many animals uh, have a shin. Does it look alive? No, they don't. Okay. Allah has a shin, but it's not like we've seen. We never okay. seen it. So, uh, one second, uh, it's a special uh, shin. Yeah. It's uh, a special shin, but it sits in the category of uh, shins. Uh, That's the point. It's exactly. a type of a shin. He has a hand. You see, ah, you're not even following not, the logic. We don't, we don't you're uh, not even following the uh, logic. You're too what? emotional. Calm down. I'm Drink down, less I'm coffee. Down, calm down. I'm, don't I'm get down. excited. I'm, I'm, There's I'm nothing sure. to be afraid of. I'm not afraid. This is just a no, nice conversation. Yes, you do. You're shivering. No, 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 uh, now, now let, let me explain, bro. What you did just then on camera is what you did is you created a category of shin and then you put 
two animal shins in that category and then Allah's shin in that category and you said Are that you they animal? just don't Are look animal? alike. He said that I just did you all hear, did you follow the logic? I did I did you say, follow the logic? I didn't say two right. Uh, I yes, said, you do you have an I, I, yes, you did. Yes, you did. No, I compared so, you with an animal. So, uh, I didn't say two so animals. shin, uh, shin I didn't say is a category. Uh, I, do I, I have a shin? Uh, of course you do. Does a cow have a shin? Of course you do. Does Allah have a shin? Uh, Allah has it, but it's not like. There you go. Allah has the category of shin. He shares that category with created things. Boom! It's not Right, so what is what is the shin? What is the shin of Allah? That's what I'm saying. We don't know. We don't, we don't know everything. We know what he revealed to us. So the word is meaningless. What do you mean it's meaningless? Because it doesn't communicate anything. No, because we don't know how What does it communicate? Huh? What does it communicate? What do you mean? What does what, so I'll explain exactly what I mean. Okay. I am saying that if you devoid the word shin entirely and completely of all conceivable meaning, then the word shin is equivalent to the word blah. It is a blah. So saying that Allah has a shin is the equivalent of saying Allah has a blah. If the word somebody, shin doesn't believe, mean anything. Who believe God came from a private party? So, answer oh, that what question. What do you want? Do you answer want that question. Common sense? Do you want of God? This guy's obsessed with genitalia. Common sense. This guy's obsessed with genitalia.